Mythic! Mythic with a four rare deck. Let's go. Yeah. Smashing. Let's go. Hey, hey, it's Mythic Mike. We're here with the best deck in standard. I know sometimes I make targeted decks that do really well, but this is just a well-rounded banger that beats every single type of deck. And, you know, I think I've been making eidetic memory decks. I think it's all led me to here. And I have thanks to the comments a little for it because eidetic draws cards and gives plus one plus one counters when you draw cards. And everyone said, oh, my mono blue eidetic loses to Sheldred. Well... That is true, although I don't play that much Sheldred, to be honest, against Sheltered that often in best of one. But I said, fine, let's beat them at their own game. We don't need ways to directly kill Sheldred. We just need our own Sheldred. This combo is insane. Not to mention throwing in Deep Cavern and growing this with our eidetic memory is crazy, guys. This thing just pops off. We have all the tools. Um, you guys know Sheldred. We're just gaining life when we draw cards death touch body they have to deal with it we got one plaza of heroes just for our shelter to keep them alive and then eidetic is the one where you draw a card um so it replaces itself and at the beginning of combat on each turn put x plus one plus one counters on target creature where x is the amount of cards you drew over the first so on the first one we'll put a counter on something and then we do have our standard just goat with this which is steam cold's Steam Core Scholar, draw two cards, and then discard either two or one card if it's an instant or sorcery or creature with flying, which we have a ton of. And this will come in as a 4-4 four, four after Eidetic, right, if we put the counters on this. But also, it'll gain four life if we have this in play. Deep Cavern Bad is just one of the MVPs, one of the reasons I wanted to play. Uh, Demur, um, you know, steal their stuff while we're drawing cards. And... The best part is it's a lifelink body to buff with our eidetic, right? Because we're drawing cards. Uh, we can put two counters, three counters on things. This thing will just win any race. This is a crazy card, by the way. So we can choose one or the other. Creatures, opponents control, get minus one, minus one. So we can mess up a lot of strategies, including some of the Boris Convoke ones. And, or, you know, if we're playing otherwise, we'll just draw two cards and lose two life. We're gaining life anyways. Let's go. What a nice card make disappear you know we need counters and that's another reason to play um this kind of shell is we just demir has all the tools right you got removal you got a bunch of different things and then we've got you know we got counters we're not letting you beat us with any of your big things we're we're just holding this up and we can hold it up because we have a lot of instant speed things most importantly fairy vandal flash flying so it's flash so if we have two mana, we can just hold both up and then decide, do we want to play our fairy or counter the thing? And if they don't play anything, we'll play our fairy or if we want to. And then whenever you draw your second card each turn, put a plus one plus one counter on it. So we're drawing our second card here, here, here. And then this thing will just keep growing. We have one Geist Wave. I wish we could put more in. This is like a goat card. Maybe, maybe I should cut down one of these and put this in. We'll see. But I, I do, but so this is return target non-land permanent to its owner hand. So ossification cases, temporary lockdowns. Um, but if we control that permanent draw a card, so we can target our own eidetic, draw a card from this, play eidetic again, draw another card. Now we've gone two cards off four mana and only one card because this was already down and two counters on something. That's a pretty nice little combo. Also, we can save things with this, and we do have two of these that can save our own things, like our bat or our fairy. We can save our fairy, then replay it with flash, or just to get some tempo. Uh, blow out mono reds when they're playing combat tricks and various different things, kill, kill tokens, or, you know, save our own things. We'll save this and replay it, draw more cards, right? Super nice. Cut downs, right? Boros Convoke, mono red. There's a lot of things to kill with cut downs, even like the angel deck. I've been playing a lot of the Boros angels, uh, which this can be. Um, because again, we also have big flyers that are growing and, uh, yeah, just crazy. Two of these, obviously the removal in life on one side is just super nice. And I mean, you can pair these together, by the way, if you really need to like play the left side, minus three, minus three, then it'll be small enough to kill any big creature will be small enough to kill cut down. 
Same thing with like give creatures minus one, minus one, and then use cut down to finish it off. So you can kill like giant creatures with those combos if you really need to. And then the right side, I mean, if the game goes long, which sometimes it will, we're just putting the right side down, getting back our Sheldrids, getting back our card draw, our steel. Guys, insane deck, two creature lands just to finish it off. Two of these bounce spells. We only have one of these, but we have two of these bounce spells. So then that just adds to the bounce. So three, five bounce spells, actually. And these can target anything as well. So, yeah, again, it, I mean, with this, too, we can target our profits or this and draw more cards if we really need it on the defensive. Sick. Guys, even the first game is like a go back and forth banger. But my God, later on, we end up beating the Boros Convoke, my nemesis. It is just an amazing deck, guys. I highly recommend. It's the best deck. I think this is the best deck right now. And I don't even think it's like one of those targeted, you're going to lose to certain matchups like a lot of my decks. I think this is just a well-rounded masterpiece. So I make a unique deck every single day. So remember to like and subscribe. It will be worth it. Let's get into the games. Let's get it done. All right, Cody. Let's go. Is Plaza first? No, that doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> I want it to be first. I never play um, legendary cards, so I never play Plaza, but I think I have one or two in here. I think just one, I guess just for Sheldred. Is this the trash people? No, it's not. Poros Convoke is the trash people. It is what it is. Ooh. So it's the angel? So it's the angel. We can bounce the angel once it's flipped, right? I wish, I already know it's the angel. I wish I could just see the other side so I could read it. <laughs> the Ford 2. All right. So for those of you who do not know, you can either discard one card with flying or an instant or sorcery or two normal cards. So what, what's nice is the ETBs are going to be very nice. Oh. I don't want him to gain life, huh? Sheldred's still a beast of a card, especially when we add card draw to it. Dude, if I get one more of these, I can just uh, double kill it. <laughs> so bounce spells are clutch there, right? If he like tries to take... We'll see what he does. Let's say in a world he took all three and I bounced it. Then I'd draw two cards again. I would steal a card. Uh, I was good. Yeah, I do want a virtue, right? Give me my one of my two virtues. Let's call it a day. He's a thinker. He's a thinker. <laughs> I mean, lifelink attacks probably your play. 
That's weird. Vigilance is not your play, sir. Draw two cards, lose two life, actually gain two life. I mean, that'll do it, right? Sorry, Bretta. I know the Angel deck is good, but uh, Eidetic with Sheldred is just better, man. So it is really funny that people kept saying that they were. I made a blue deck and they were losing to um, Sheldred. So add it in. All right, perfect. So what does this do? Should I be checking what it does? I think we... Oh, shoot. Return them to their hand? <laughs> that wasn't what I wanted. Um, well, I guess actually it kind of works out. Let's see. I guess that kind of works out. Dude, I thought I got him back. That's pretty crazy. The funny part is the card was right in front of me, but I was so mad I couldn't read it on the other side. I just, I did it without checking. All right. Do I do it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I guess I do. Because then I can um, play Virtue next turn, even when he steals my stuff. All right, no make disappear from me. Pretty crazy game, though. So I can't attack because of that card. And he steal all my stuff. Did I make a grave error? <laughs> stole all my stuff. Oh no. All right, I need to actually kill that, huh? My God.
So I will lose unless I do this, so I have to do it. Oof. Oh. Alright, so I'm not dead yet, right? So I will get a... Can double kill it, right? No, he's not going to. All right, he's one off. One off, let's see. Can I make it back? Dude, the double bounce spells for the win, huh? Oh! <laughs> Dude. Do I play this? Why not, right? <laughs> Dude, we were just about to pop off again. That was crazy. All right, Ricky Bobby, Talladega. Um, you know what? We'll do it. Dude, I'm just coming off that Angels win. My God. Pretty epic how the feed on this deck, right? We were down to one life. My dog's going crazy. All right, we'll do this in case we're facing something. The good part is this can just draw two cards, right? Ooh, it is interesting. Well, we'll at least have a 2-3, if not more. I guess if he doesn't um, counter it, I guess. <laughs> so maybe not, at least. Ah, oh, all right. Try this again. Yes. No. <laughs> All right. I want the guy to ditch the cut downs. The, um, what's it called? Get out of my house, Wandering Emperor. I saw that coming from a mile away. You think this deck can't control? We can control, baby.
That's a bummer one. Although we can kill it, we've cut down. Hey, we got a Shelly. Will he counter it? Let's go, baby. Shelly's still a beast. Well, if that wasn't a sign I should block. Oh god, is that first strike? Oh my god, I shouldn't have blocked. I shouldn't have blocked. <laughs> I shouldn't have blocked. That was bad. That was very bad. If he has make disappear and I didn't do that. Alright, good. Guys, that was really bad. I shouldn't have blocked. <laughs> We'd be so ahead right now. I forget about that card sometimes, you know? I could have just blocked this one too. Whatever. Whatever, guys. We're still gonna win, even through the misplays. What do you got up there? Sunfall? Apparently not. Something instant speed. Uh... Explain why you didn't use it. So this never taps. <laughs> Sorry, Wandering. Dude, look at our hand, by the way, compared to Blue White Control. And we completely misplayed by blocking with the Sheldred, right? I guess that's first, right? Is it the land, presumably? All right. Now we're we're too big for um, for it. My dog's going crazy. I want to save. We'll bounce if he tries to kill something. So that hits his stuff. So he's in tough spots to be doing that, right? So we can actually just take it out of his hand. Dude, I might have to add another one of these. We are just out controlling control, guys. Come on. If this is not a masterpiece, I don't know what is. <laughs> I mean, that's about as GG as it gets, right?
All right, we kind of are out of tricks, although we do have a creature land. This is his turn. Can you do it, baby? Dude, playing through misplays. I mean, he can get a card, I guess. We're not close to getting milled out. Dude, his heart is broken right now. Are you dead, sir? <laughs> the bat with Eidetic is hilarious, though. So he's not dead, is that what that means? Oh wait, we actually get it back. <laughs> That's hilarious. What's funny is we have virtue enough land to use it. I'm not letting him get another card. Get out of here. Should I be self milling myself? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't I don't know what he's got in there though. Pretty epic games, right? I mean these two were good against great decks, both of them. Azorius control on that Boros Angels. God, is there nothing more infuriating than this card? <laughs> Dude, we just like free gave him Shelly. And this is this is how Bor and we didn't even use virtue against Azorius control. Let's go, baby. Alright, Captain Knuckles. 1517, let's go. My god, this deck can beat everything, can it? My god, I'm going. I never play cut down, but it, that it was definitely needed in this deck. So what's really nice is like instant speed, instant speed, flash. So we can hold up the counter spell and if he doesn't play it, we still have a super nice play with Fairy Vandal into Eidetic, right? And if he does that, we'll go in like that. All right. That is a good draw. We'll see what happens. Do I bounce it or do I... I think I do. But we can do the... See if a counterspell or something? I can't believe this returns something... Like, we can return our Eidetic. It draws a card because of this, and then play Eidetic again. Oh my god, baby. We're a ship. That's the funny thing. How far has Shelly fallen... I used to not play Shelly on purpose because it was too meta for me, but my god, there aren't a ton of Shelly decks, right? In best of three, right, Demir and things are a thing. In best of one, though, there's not a ton of Shelly decks. The only one is with that, with Rafine, right? I will let him counter this if he can, because he might have, um, I don't know. I 
God, I did. How funny is it? People were like, I keep losing to Shelly because I, in my other blue version, right? We just draw cards. We can bounce Shelly, but it's still not perfect, right? But in this one, it's like, you drop your Shelly, we'll have ours, baby. Battle of the Shellys. Does he have a buff spell? No. So that was questionable. I could have stayed on blocks, right? I could have stayed on blocks. I don't think it's needed, though. Really nice we got a couple of these for the top end. Okay. Okay. It's a little bit of a race. So one land and we get Virtue down. He is dead next turn if he doesn't block, though. We can get two through at the very least. Oh no. Are we dead? Are we dead? No! Let's go, baby. Three in a row. All right. Some dude 88. I was also born in 88. 1276. Are you going to be the one to break our streak? I hope not. It's only been three games, but they were pretty back and forth ones, so it feels longer. Feels longer. Uh, we'll do this in case we have to bounce two things. I don't know why we ever would. The flash on this is mm, so good. Is this the angel one again? Is this the angel one again? Can you believe we beat the angels by bouncing them? <laughs> uh, so it probably is. Looks like it. I do want to save Steam Core to at least get a counter on this. I wonder if we should counter the three mana one or wait, but. Prototype incoming? Is that what we're doing here? All right. Good. That's the good angel I don't like. <laughs> That's a good angel. Also, it's super annoying because you can't really bounce it that easily. Get out of my house. Yeah, we'll take that. You can't see it, right? All right, we might have too many cutdowns. <laughs> I might have to take one out. One out for that bounce spell, maybe? I mean... You know what's really cool? We can kill a big angel by making it smaller and then cutting it down. <laughs> I do need like a card.
that to nine. Because that one does stuff, right? Yeah, we don't want to bounce that one. Oh no, is our first loss against Angels? Do I kill it? That wasn't it all the way to tap. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So we didn't even have enough black. My God, I messed that up bad. We could have killed uh, Aurelia. <laughs> All right, my first loss is a misplay. This is why I don't play Plaza. Ooh. Dude, don't tell me we're going to somehow win this again. <laughs> I guess we need that one, right? Oh, my. It would have been so much better if this was dead. <laughs> <sighs> you know, guys... It's early morning. Sometimes you gotta misplay. It is what it is. Plaza. <laughs> all right, all right. I mean, yeah, we would have been in a good place because we could kill this or this. Instead, we just gained three life for no reason. It doesn't feel completely lost yet, but, uh, God, it would feel a lot better if, um, we still have this up to kill his resplendent. <laughs> uh, uh, soul. Soul. Is he going to put the counter on me? Okay, good. I like that. I'll do that all day. So how do we kill Archangel? We can't, right? Anymore? Shoot! <laughs> we were almost there! God, if we'd played better. This, and then this would draw four life. But as is, we're dead. Because we play this, we block one, and it's still too much. It's exact seas. All right. Good game. I blame myself for that one. All right. Chin it, Suhiko. Let's go. Interesting. What are we doing here? So we're a fighting deck? Ugh, we're that deck. We're that deck. We did beat Toxic a second ago. God, bouncing hurts, right? I guess we do do this, huh? Do you have a way to kill it?
Now we turn on the pain, baby. One land. If we get a land with this or with our draw. Oh. I kind of want to do I No, we are doing Eidetic to hold up the counter spell. I know we could be on... We have enough counter... Yeah, I don't know. I kind of just want to attack through the air light with this. All right. Good. Two or fewer. Oh, Plaza of Heroes. Plaza of Heroes. All right. We can't be using Fade and Hope. <laughs> we will put it on this. I mean, we got a Vigilant Wall now. How are you going to do this last eight? Does he just have a one turn kill? How are you going to do it? And if he plays nothing, we have Fairy Vandal. Do you have a one turn kill, sir? We just win. Sure feels like it, right? Immediately clapping back. Let's go. All right. Raise Honig. Let's go. Interesting. Mm. We will get it out the way. It's a little... Now nah, we got next turn to do it. Is it the trash people? Is it the trash people? My god. Alright. At least we have our tar uh, this one. It doesn't quite feel like them, but... But totally could be, right? We do have a creature land, which is interesting. Oh, okay. So 
So we can reset her, which is nice. Do we do this? It's close, right? Whether we want to um, attack with this. Too bad the white one draws a card. I do have a blue-white version of this in the makes map tokens. So it is a variant of the trash people, but I respect this one because this is just not a good card in the show. At least he's trying. Is there something happening? I don't understand. Is this just an oopsies? <laughs> we were going to put this in and blast him out. Yeah, that's just an oopsies. Every once in a while, you oopsies. He's trying to make up for it. And I mean, he kind of is. This deck is insane, even when you replace one card. I mean, Adam Pakal is not like a terrible card. It's just not good in this. It's a little too slow, which is insane because it's a fast card. I don't think he can beat me this turn. I'll be sad if I'm wrong. I'll be sad if I'm wrong. Let's see. Three. Dude, is Imidane's lethal? Oh my god, is Imidane... Oh, good. Would Imidane's have been lethal? 12. 15. Yeah, it would have. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. Dude, tap them all, please. Alright. We're gonna beat the trash people by accident. Tr tap one more and it's GG. How greedy are the... Are the Boros Convoke trash people? This, this is a caveated trash, people. At least he has a different card. Ah! He's too good. Wait, we can still do it or no? We can still do it, but he will have blockers. We can bounce this and attack, but he will have blockers. It's pretty cool, though, because of the legend. Oh, no. This doesn't count. It's only legendary creatures. Um, I guess we go like this and just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. If we survive, we could win, for sure. Maybe we will win. It wasn't... Even though we could have won, I could have stayed on blocks. I did play risky. Thank God he didn't do math, huh? Sometimes they don't. So if he plays another card into Imidane's, we can counter it. So that's my hope, right? Yeah, exactly. That's my hope. Get out of my house! Get out of my house, Imidanes. Dude, 
Dude, we're totally going to win. <laughs> I think. <laughs> How greedy are you? You're too greedy, I'll tell you that. You're too greedy, I'll tell you that. Get out of here, Boros Convoke. Oh my, we're gonna have to end it on this one. I mean, beating my nemesis. We've lost one game and it was at least partly due to a glaring misplay. So, uh, I, dude, this deck's gonna crush, let's go. And we're climbing back to the numbers too, man. I'm telling you, this is the best deck. Let's go, baby check out one of these two videos remember i make a unique deck every single day like and subscribe if you want to see more let's go baby